Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Something special today. So we have a 2023 Civic Type R. Beautiful car, beautiful color as well. And I'm going to show the importance of using an iron remover. So when you're using especially high performance cars, but any car has this, there's a lot of brake dust or rail dust or industrial fallout that goes onto the clear coat. And that's what eventually creates those rust specks, those orange dots that you see on the paintwork. Well, that comes from the brake dust itself, from your wheels again, or the rail dust or just the car being outside with the industrial fallout that's on there so a simple way is you would wash your car this one here is fairly clean we're just going to do a demo of the iron remover so you can see this one here is a classic car pro iron x don't worry i'll leave the links in the description under the video for you guys to check all of those out but basically you spray this on uh, you're going to let it dwell for a few minutes it's going to go from a translucent transparent car color to a deep red or purple tint indicating that there's a chemical reaction with the brake dust it's going to help to oxidize that brake dust make it more round and you can flush it by rinsing it later on so so it's going to help to remove those iron particles from the paintwork itself. So basically never work in direct sunlight and never let this product dry on the surface. Always read the instructions, guys, of the chemicals that you are using. So let's pretend that we washed this vehicle. Uh, as you can see, it's an overcast uh, sky outside. So there's no uh, super hot day and there's no sunlight. So we're going to spray this on. We're going to let it dwell. And this, by the way, is a press vehicle because my friend that's helping me film right now is a car journalist. And so this vehicle only has 5,300 miles or roughly 8,400 kilometers. And we're going to see, my guess is that there should be tons of chemical reaction on this because it's probably been beaten by the, uh, the test drivers that use this for their videos. So you would go around the vehicle and spread this and spray it and as you can tell right now it's a transparent color and it should change depending on how much iron contamination there is on the paintwork we should see a color change eventually to that red or purple tint so we're going to spray that on there do the rounds of the vehicle itself already here have a look at this guys it's already reacting so Come in close, do a zoom, look at all these specks. You see these this purple bleeding that we see? Those are all the iron particles that are reacting that are on the clear coat itself. And if you don't take care of that, at least every three to four months is what I recommend. And products like iron removers, by the way, are also safe to use on ceramic coated vehicles uh, because believe it or not, in the bottle itself, it's a pH neutral product that only becomes slightly acidic when it reacts on the paintwork due to an exothermic chemical reaction. So it's still very safe and it's actually recommended on your coated vehicle to use this every three, four months as a maintenance to remove that brake dust. It's gonna help to remove a bit of that embedded contamination, a bit of that traffic film as well. So see this kind of, kind of like a uh, chemical decontamination step because you can also use a clay bar, that's the mechanical decontamination, to remove any other embedded contaminants that iron removers won't remove, right? So things like tree sap, uh, you can get other types of fallout, uh, grime or dirt particles that are in there, paint overspray. So basically anything else that the chemical removal stuff doesn't do, you can use a clay bar afterwards to further decontaminate the surface. So let's have a look at what this reaction has done. And oh my God, as expected, look at this look at this panel guys it is absolutely full of that bleeding come in close have a look at that and hopefully you can clearly see all that bleeding and if we let it react for a few more minutes it's going to be even worse than that look at all this door panel is just full all of it and keep in mind this is a brand new car 2023 civic type r and only 5300 miles or 8400 kilometers and i mean this thing is just screaming with this purple and red tint all the way to the back look at that look at the bleeding in the bumper oh my god and so obviously anything that the uh, when you're braking it throws all of that brake dust right on your paintwork and that gets embedded because it is very hot so it gets embedded in the clear coat starts to oxidize when it's in contact with the oxygen and the rain and water and all that stuff and it starts to give us those orange specks that you don't necessarily see so we couldn't see the specks visually but this is a clear indicator that there's a lot on there. So hopefully this uh, helps you kind of understand how iron removers work. There's a lot of good ones out there. Geon Iron, Carpro Iron X, PNS Iron Buster, uh, the DIY Detail Iron Remover. There's just a bunch, a bunch of good quality ones. So get a product 
follow the instructions, use the chemical decontamination, and keep your car in tip-top shape. I have a bunch of other tutorials, by the way, how to clean your car, how to do a clay bar, how to do the chemical decontamination for tar removers as well, iron removers, all that good stuff, how to machine polish your paint, uh, and also how to apply either a wax, a paint sealant, or a ceramic coating bunch of more videos like that so subscribe to the pan the organizer channel uh if you need any products i'll leave links in the description under the video for you guys to check them out and in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and i'll see you on the next one